Howdy everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcome to episode 13 of Let's Play The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. You know, I'm not going to pussyfoot around it. I've been playing pretty shittily these past few runs. DM39 VGG6. Direct message number 39 was about video games gaining 6 pounds. Pretend there's a P after it. Yeah, I've been playing pretty terribly these past few runs. It's not just me getting screwed by the game, not at all. I'm just par not particularly good at the game, I guess. So I'm hoping to turn that around, and this is a pretty good start to that. Rubber cement makes our tears bounce on impact, which doesn't seem all that great, like, on its own, but for some reason it seems to pay off really well. It kind of, like, in a, in a really pseudo weird way, it increases the range of your tears, and it makes it so that your tears will bounce between enemies instead of just dying on impact, so I guess that's the main thing. So, on like a room by room basis, Rubber Cement might not be the biggest player, but over the course of an entire run, it can add up to some pretty significant damage if you think about it. So it's good to have it this early in the game, actually. Alright, don't start off by taking dumb damage like that. There are champions in this room, you could die right in this room, wouldn't that be embarrassing? Oh my god, you would suck forever. Please, stop playing the game. Yeah, see, with hordes of enemies like this, Rubber Cement actually works pretty well. And for some reason, like, Rubber Cement always feels like a damage upgrade to me. I don't know if there's, like, a hidden damage upgrade in Rubber Cement, but it really feels like I'm doing more damage a lot of the time. I have no way to conclusively test that, unfortunately, but... Oh, money. Nice. Too bad I don't still have money equals power. That would be even better for me. <laughs> that would be even better for me. In fact, I should probably, probably actually head back and look for the shop, because I have 7 cents now, which means I could afford something on the cheap. What the hell was that noise? <laughs> I feel like I just heard like a little like moaning cry. Was that in the game? Like, in the background? It sounded like it was. It sounded like it was right in my headphones, but it could have been something outside, I guess. But if it was, then what the hell's going on outside? Is there someone having sex outside my window? It, it was either that, or a child in extreme pain but in so much pain that they're past the point of screaming, they're just kind of going like, uh, moaning, and then I should probably be headed outside right now to check that out. Um, the shop is right over here. What am I thinking? I don't know why I'm just walking around like a dunce looking for it. Okay. Ah, uh, baggy of pills I can't afford. So I'm just gonna... Wow. <sighs> that, you know, that was your time to shine, donation machine. You could have let me donate a full eight cents to you. But no, you're just like, I think I'm feeling tired for the day. I don't want you talking about me anymore. So, uh, one penny, you're done. There is kind of a rumor flying around that if, um, that the later in the run you wait to use the donation machine for the first time, the more likely it is to break. And, like, I've seen cases where that seems to be, the, where that seems to be happening, but right there, where I use it on the first floor and it breaks after one penny, I wouldn't say that's conclusive evidence against that theory, but it's not... It doesn't support it. It goes quite against it, as a matter of fact. I digress. So, Dingle, if you could drop... And you know, I'd be fine with either a damage or a health upgrade, to be perfectly honest. What do we got? That is just perfect. Health upgrade plus a little something extra. Works for me, man. Can't head into that room, unfortunately. Wow, I just totally screwed that guy up with rubber cement. It seems to have like a like a pseudo penetrative shot effect almost, because like some of these tiers seem to be like clipping through the enemies if they don't hit them dead on. Which is really interesting. Okay. Oh, I could have used that spirit heart like literally one room earlier and I would have saved my deal with the devil chances. I haven't given up the ghost on that just yet, but I'm not going to get my hopes up for it either. i got to start thinking of alternative strategies if I don't get a deal with the devil here. And what alternative strategies are there really at this point? Just play better. Use rubber cement to good effect and uh, survive, man. If you can survive the gurglings fight, that's a good first step. That's not a good first step. <laughs> Oh, 
I don't know if I don't I'm trying to the flies seem like they could be a benefit or a detriment to me here because they're making my tears bounce more but I suppose it doesn't matter either way because they're dead now there we go got lucky this time game's feeling nice um hmm, guppy's paw it's a space bar item that allows us to turn red hearts into soul hearts so let's do it <laughs> Just go, I'm just gonna go all in. Take Guppy's Paw, go all in. That's my philosophy. Like there, like Guppy's Paw is one of those items where you either take it and just go the whole nine yards with it, or you don't take it and just figure out another method to win. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna take this opportunity to take it because I don't think we've really used it very much or even seen it at all at all before now. So it seems like a pretty opportune moment. What do we got in here? Uh, that's great. That's Capricorn. All stats upgrade. Mm, which actually gives us another red heart there. So I'm going to turn that into soul hearts. Turns it into three soul hearts, in case I didn't mention that already. Shouldn't be so bad. Next should be Larry Jr., which... Might actually get totally annihilated by our rubber cement tears. Oh, yeah. Yeah, get clustered together, guys. <laughs> yeah, bunch up. It's time for a family photo. Just kidding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw rubber cement at you. With my eyes. Okay. That was a little weird. Still have to find the treasure room, actually. It's amazing how much we've gotten on this floor without actually seeing the treasure room yet. I'm feeling like the treasure room is actually not going to be that way. I don't know why, but I'm feeling like it's more likely to be over here. And I'm wrong. Okay. <laughs> way to make me look like an idiot game. Played me like a fiddle. I see a, a tinted rock over there. I'll blow it up, but it's, it's probably not going to be too beneficial because it's going to be more likely than anything spirit hearts. You never know, though. Could teleport us to a mystical wonderland of uh, consumables and just general fun, so. And actually I can use one of the spear hearts now if it does come up. Yeah, that worked out for me fine. Ah, uh, spider butt. Is it bet? Yeah, I'm gonna take it over Guppy's paw. I could come to regret that if I end up taking tons and tons of damage in coming floors, but you know what? I like spider butt. Don't uh, contort that sentence into anything else, please. Let's see if we can get some pills out of these mushrooms. That would be nice. Liberty cap is actually pretty good. Pretty good trinket for us. Get some more I found pills pills. Another one. Great. Well, I did find a lot of pills in this room. Tears up and... Pretty fly. Wow. So no nothing detrimental came out of that room, thankfully. And that could be as a result of Lucky Foot, now that I think about it, because that's, or sorry, Luck Foot. I always want to call it Lucky Foot, but it's just Luck Foot. That's what Kane starts with. Makes pills more likely to be good. How are we doing in terms of boss rush? 7.55, eh. Not feeling especially like it's going to happen today. But that's fine. If I can just win one with Kane, then I'll be more than happy. Wheel of Fortune. I'll hold on to that for a little bit. What do we got? Goat Hoof. I'll take it, actually. Liberty Cap is a good trinket. Like, almost none of the effects you can randomly get out of it are negative. But Goat Hoof is more reliable. It's just a straight vanilla speed upgrade. And I am fine with that. It seems more universally useful than Liberty Cap. Liberty, Liberty Cap could be more fun. But at this point, I'm past the point where I want to have fun as Kane. I just want to win one for once. If we can win and have fun at the same time, then I'll be happier than a monkey's uncle. Quite frankly. Hmm. I really should be using Spider Butt at every chance I get, I guess. I'm going to go down here and do this room before that, before that uh, big room up there, because Spider Butt on the big room could be actually much more advantageous. 
would have been nice on this room actually, but oh well. All right, who wants to get fucked by a butt spider butt? You do. You're dead. Spider butt does seem to do more damage than I give it credit for. Not like an obscene amount of damage. Like it's not like a death card or the Necronomicon or anything like that, but it's respectable, given that it also slows down all the enemies in the room for a little while. We got telepills. Teleports us to the room I was gonna go to next anyway. Little brimstone. I got pretty lucky there actually. Little brimstone is a phenomenal phenomenal familiar. What do we got? Uh more pills. Question marks and question marks. It can't be telepills, because we've already seen telepills. Luck up. Alright, secret room down here, maybe? I'm feeling it. There we go. And we doubled our investment, plus a key, plus a coin. Works for me. Wouldn't actually mind finding the shop right about now. I know I can't donate anymore on this run, but could see some things that coming out, coming out of that shop of value. I didn't even talk about it at all, actually, now that I think about it, but we when we picked up... That was dumb of me. I thought we had Guppy's head for some reason. When we picked up Guppy's paw on the uh, earlier floor... That's our first guppy item, and you don't, you don't actually have to keep the guppy item in order for it to count towards the guppy transformation. You just have to have picked it up at some point on the run. So now that we have guppy's paw in our repertoire, we should be well on our way to that transformation. Okay, deal with the devil. That is sweet. I don't know how good it's going to be with the Curse of the Blind. Oh, okay, this is Krampus, the one that we unlocked on the run you guys didn't see. Not an item, but a boss. Basically acts identically to the Fallen, who we fought a few times before. Not especially hard if you know how to dodge him. Those beams can be a little bit, can catch you off guard. Head of Krampus has appeared in the basement. What is this item? A lump of coal. Aww. <laughs> lump of coal is actually pretty good. It makes it so that it's, it's a damage upgrade in a weird way. It makes it so that the farther your tears get from you, the more damage they'll do. Which, with rubber cement, actually works quite well in concert with one another. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and explore a little bit more, try and find the shop. This doesn't hurt either. There we go. You even got one bomb out of that. Man, I don't even have anything that's like making bombs drop more often. I'm just getting a ton of them for whatever reason. Okay, so now, I suppose it would behoove us to stand as far away from the enemies as possible. Which generally is, is a pretty good strategy if you want to avoid damage, I suppose, but... Now we have more of an incentive to do it with... Lump of Coal. Uh, I can't afford that item even if I wanted it, which I really don't, so I'm just gonna take that. Ensure our survival a little bit more. And let's get a move on, yo. Man, I ran right over that open trap door. My speed must be crazy high. What do we got in here? We've got... Uh, four different kinds of chests. So here's the four different kinds of chests. And Isaac, everybody, you got this iron chest, the golden chest, the red chest, and the stone chest. This is really good. That's two-thirds of our guppy items, so we're almost there. And Guppy's Tail will make it so that golden chest will also spawn more often. So that's kind of nice. If we could get more keys, actually, then I'd be more appreciative of that. What do we got? A golden chest. Speak of the devil. Oh, Tammy's head. Eh, it's probably... Oh my gosh, with rubber cement. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. It's all together, I would say, a little bit better than spider butt. So we have, you know what, I'll use spider bot in this room, because I'm not going to be keeping it. So here you go. <laughs> have fun with that, Pete. Uh, oh, that was pretty bad.
dodged right into that bullet, too. <laughs> See, I don't know what it is about Peep. He just has some kind of hypnotic effect over me that makes me want to dodge right into where his eyeballs and or his bullets are going. Something about Peep. Another golden chest, probably from a goat tail. Not... <laughs> Gelpie's tail, not goat tail. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. One thing I didn't note about Tammy's head, because I didn't actually know about Tammy's head before recently, is that it also, I think, upgrade. it gives, it fires off like one of your tiers in eight directions like like you might expect like that, but each of those tiers actually does a little, little bit more damage than your regular tiers. I did not know it was a damage upgrade in that kind of weird way. Wow. <laughs> yeah, see it actually kind of messed up Larry Jr. right there. Yeah, we got one oop, one more key to use. Do I want to use it on this chest? I'm feeling lucky. Not lucky enough, apparently. So if we can find some more for our treasure room and shop before the floor is out. You know, I'm not feel I don't feel like I especially have to go to those rooms right now though, because I'm doing pretty well for myself. They could only serve to benefit me though, ideally. Let's Tammy's head that up. Wow, I didn't expect it to kill that guy down there. Tammy's head seems like a pretty good investment kind of item. Like, it's not something that might be extremely useful in your current circumstance. It seems pretty good with rubber cement, though. But the longer you keep it, the more likely it is to be useful, because you're only be you're likely to get more and more tiers upgrade as the game progresses. And there we go. Ah, uh, dang it. Dang it, Sony Jim. Let's do that. Only killed one of them, unfortunately, but... That's life. Okay. Uh, do I want to go for my treasure room or for the shop? Let's check out the shop. Uh, I will definitely take Mom's key. Gives us more keys, like two, two more keys, and makes golden chests more likely to pay out with good stuff, just like that. <laughs> that is phenomenal. Uh, just double checking to see if there's anything in that room that I might want. I have a feeling that the treasure, yeah, the treasure room is going to be way, way back there. But I will backtrack for it because it could be the item we need to set this run way over the edge. Check for a super secret room while we're at this. And nothing. All right, let's backtrack really quick. I'm contemplating using that wheel of fortune card right now, actually. But I'll see. I'll, I'll save my money for the next shop or two. Well, there's only going to be two more shops regardless, but I'll save it for that just to see. Because the last thing I want is to see a really good item in my shop and not be able to pick it up because I decided to get, like, a key or something out of Wheel of Fortune. Mm, man. Mom's, keys, mom's Key is working out pretty well for us. I don't know if the Mom's Key effect applies to just regular chests as well as golden chests. I just know for a fact that it applies to golden chests. Alrighty. And more money. Can't complain. What do we got? Mom's Perfume is Fear Shot. That is pretty good. Just another thing to rack up on our tears, I guess. Whoa. Wow! <laughs> that was brutal. That makes this even more brutal, Crooked's Head. And the Parasite, which if you... No one's probably going to remember this except for me, so there's no reason for me to even point it out, but we did unlock the Parasite on our very first run of the game. But if you remember, there was kind of a save file issue, and uh, we lost that, so now we have the Parasite back again. I think that's for picking up... It's like for picking up two items of a certain selection in, like... It's kind of a weird thing to explain. Mega Fatty. Not so bad... Like, it's Tam you, like, Tammy's head is one of the items you could pick up to help unlock the parasite. And the virus, I guess, would be another one. Because that's what we picked up to unlock it. I don't know, it's kind of weird. You could look it up if you're extremely curious. What do we got in here? Guppy item? Nope. Guppy item? Nope, but still appreciate it. And no. Okay. Still just one step away from becoming Guppy. And that's what I think would send this, send this run to heaven. 
at that point, if like if I become Guppy, you guys have my permission to stop watching. I know that's not something you, like a content creator should ever say, but like at that point, it's just a done deal. I'm gonna win at that point. I'm fairly confident saying I'm gonna win at this point, to be honest with you. Box of spiders. Uh, it's not better than Tammy's head, but I'll take the two spiders. Three spiders, even. You're too kind. How are we doing on time? Oh, if I rush, I can maybe make it to boss rush, but it's not looking especially likely. Uh, I was hoping. I was hoping for something magical to happen there, but it didn't. Oh well. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Yeah, we're not gonna make it to boss rush. We still have to get through this floor and the entire next floor if we want to do that. So in like a minute, so that's definitely not gonna happen. As much as I might like it to, because I feel confident enough to actually take on Boss Rush on this uh, run, but... Beggars can't be choosers, right? Sure, I'll check it. Ah, eh, Bob's brain, I'll take it. You know what? I'm feeling fine. I know Bob's brain is kind of a... It's, it's, you're playing with fire when you pick up Bob's brain, so that's what I'll say. But I've been getting better with it. I think I think it's an item you just need to practice with if you want to use it well. Because it is a legitimately quite good item if you can just avoid taking damage from it yourself. Which unfortunately does not is not the easiest thing in the world, but Oh come on, come on, come on. Ah! <laughs> At least the virus had some good effect there. Oh, that was beautiful. Did you see? Oh my gosh! The hollow just totally annihilated. Or got annihilated by a rubber cement there. That was amazing. Oh, if I can get in here? Yes! Oh my gosh, that was beautiful. This is the true value of rubber cement, I guess. Uh, wow, well. And there's the value of Bob's Curse. The yin and yang of this run. Oh, Cancer is so much better than Goat Hoof, I think. Because I'm running fast enough already on my own, and Cancer will double, double double my fire rate. Look at these machine gun tiers. Holy shit. That's amazing. Oh, I should actually bomb this over here, because I'm down to one key. And I think I can sacrifice one of my 21 bombs to get another key. To double my key investment. It only makes fiscal sense, you know? Alright, there's that. That'll be the... No, that's not the mom fight. This is just depth one. But I still want to go... No, I, d I already have the treasure room, so what am I thinking? Let's just fight. Monster 2 again, huh? Well, I'm still not very happy with you after the way you treated me on that last run, but... <laughs> you know what? I think we're, I think we're in a little, little bit more of an advantageous position this time, so... Speed ball, speed and shot speed up. Can't uh, say no to that. There's our third guppy item. And you know what? This is actually perfect, because it's going to cost us three spirit hearts, but it's going to give us one red heart, too, because it sets us to one red heart. And now we're guppy. <laughs> so, uh, like I said, if you want to leave now, that's totally fine. You know how this run is going to end. Well, you don't know word for word how this run is going to end. We could still get more powerful, like this. <laughs> I mean, that's not necessarily more powerful. It's just another guppy item. We can't. We, it's not that like we become super guppy like now. I wish that were a thing, but it's not. You can just see the power of Guppy in full force here, though. Monster 2 is a very bulky enemy. We took him down in, like, three seconds. <laughs> this is incredible. It's not... I wouldn't compare it to, like, that really fun anti-gravity, magnetic tears, toxic, or, uh... shielded tears, penetrative shot thing that we had going on in one of our earlier runs, but... It's good. It's definitely, definitely very good. It's a traditional kind of good. It's the kind of good you would go to your dad and say, Look, Dad, I became Guppy with really high fire rate and really good damage. And he's like, Good job, slugger. Maybe now you'll just have to... Maybe if you could just now uh, ace your math final, then we'll talk about getting you that new Xbox you wanted. And it's like, Dad, it's a Wii U. It's not even the same thing. Shut up, son. I know my video games. That's how I'm going to treat my son when I talk to him. Mm, three keys. 
I'm getting freaky with three keys. God, okay. Maybe Bob's brain might be my Achilles heel, though. <laughs> so, I might have been premature in saying that Guppy is going to mean we're going to instantly win here, because... Well, we'll see. I'm still fairly confident in my chances to win as long as I smarten up with Bob's brain. Our fifth guppy item. <laughs> this is incredible. Show me the hairball, man. I will I will take it in a heartbeat. I will take that, too, definitely. Makes it so that we'll have a chance of using Tammy's head more than once per room. And what do we got in here? Uh, no, not great. Not very good at all, if you ask me. Alright, let's see how badly we can mess up Mom. Oh my gosh, did you see how fast her health bar went down? That was ridiculous. Tears up, shots... Oh my god, more tears up? Look, we're, we have a laminar stream of tears. This is amazing. Oh my god, it really is Guppy's hairball. <laughs> this is all the Guppy items on one single run. That's amazing. And you know what? I feel confident. Now that I got those three uh, hearts from Ceremonial Robes, I'm just going to pick it up. Even though I don't need it. I am the champion, my friends. Oh, if only I could have taken this run to Boss Rush. Could you imagine? So I, th I think that's effectively all the cat-based items in the game. Because we got all six Guppy items and Tammy's head. And Infamy, so uh, that's nice. It's not a cat. Like, Infamy is not my third pet cat or anything. Maybe he is. He, he'd have a really weird face if that's the case, though. I don't even know what I'm expecting this guy to pay out with. That would benefit me anymore. <laughs> but you know what? I'm not going to use the money for anything else, so... Better just go for broke. At this point, though, I don't know. There we go. Okay. Fanny pack is, uh, pretty good. That was something else. If I could get a golden key on this floor or something, or just a big stock hold of keys, that would be really nice. Not, not that I really need it, I guess. Let's just see what we got here. Skolex, huh? Okay. This could take a little bit longer, because Skolex only has one vulnerable slot on his body. But once we get good a good vantage point on that spot, then, uh, He's going to be decimated. It just takes one golden opportunity. I mean, we're already messing him up pretty badly. But He's being smart about this, though. He's not doing the one attack that puts him at his most vulnerable. Oh, he did right there, and that's why he died in a literal half second. What do we got? Three red chests? Be kind to me. Just give me some spirit hearts or something. Ooh. I didn't know that could come out of a red chest. That's Pisces. You know what? I don't think that actually can't. I think we exhausted the all the items that can come out of red chest. Because we got goat head. We got all the guppy items. And I'm pretty sure there's like one or two more than come out of red chest that we, are, that we also got. That's kind of ridiculous. I'm not going to use tail pills. I'm just going to carry it with me for fun. <laughs> Let's head down. Yeah, because Pisces is not normally something you can get at all from a red chest, I'm pretty sure. But it's another tears upgrade, so our... Oh my god. And it's also knockback shot, so when our tears hit enemies, they'll go friggin' flying. I can't even... <laughs> this is ridiculous. I don't know, though, guys. Our health isn't great. We might still not win this. No. I don't even care. If I was at one heart, I would feel... Well, that's a little bit of a stretch. If I was at one heart, I would, I would be pe feeling a little bit more in danger. Although not really, because I have nine lives and Guppy's Collar, so I'm pretty safe in that regard. I effectively have nine more hearts than it looks like I have. <laughs> little Brimstone is just... He's trying. He's trying to keep up with all this nonsense, but he's, I'm sorry, Little Brimstone. You, you've been obsoleted by this amazingly ridiculous run. I'm pretty sure this is the first time ever that I've gotten all six guppy items on the same run. Not that it like it doesn't make a difference at all. Oh my god. Thank you, Mom's Key. <laughs> that was amazing. If only I had money equals power. Like, it makes no difference. Like I said, there's no... 
achievement or any kind of transformation or anything you get for getting all the guppy items. It's just a novelty. I can always point to this run and say, there, that's the one where I got all the guppy items and Tammy's head. And I'm not even using Tammy's head, that's how powerful I feel. You know what, I'm going to pick up Umbilical Core just to see the difference in our fire rate, because Cancer is a really big unspoken part right now, I think. Yeah, look at the difference there. There's actually space, like a little bit of space between our tiers. And with this, it's just... <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Alright, let's fight the boss. Mom's hot. Well, that ends that. As much as I wish I could... I'll take this up on... I'll take the devil here up on his offer sooner or later. Don't, don't you worry, but for now... I'm content with these endings, if it'll let me. Note to self, don't inject liquid butter into my face. Yeah, so I would I would hesitate to call I was I would hesitate to call that a tame run. More like a Tammy run, am I right? <laughs> Get it cuz tame and tam and never mind. I am very happy with that though. That sets us on a good precedent for a win streak hopefully. Not that I've been playing the best to deserve a win streak lately, but like honestly, I did not play too well during that. I played well well enough to get it far. Experimental treatment and glass baby. Those are, that's good. But I really did get like I would not have won that without Guppy probably. I don't know, maybe. Anyway, so that's Arcane win, which means we have one win with every character that we have unlocked. Still have to get Judas and Samson here. So next time, I'm not sure what we'll do. Maybe we'll do another run to unlock a character, maybe we'll do a challenge. The world's our oyster. I have no clue what that means, but let me paint a picture of your future. Thanks everyone for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.